We recently published uh, an article in World Development and it's a part of a special section in, that's focused on land tenure and forest carbon issues. And we really looked at four sites in the Brazilian Amazon, including Acre, but also the Trans-Amazon Highway, São Félix do Xingu, and Northwestern Mato Grosso. They're basically red type initiatives, initiatives that are looking to bolster rural development through a low emissions approach. And we looked at the early intervention strategies of the project and program proponents and basically wanted to know if land tenure regularization was an issue and how proponents were going about dealing with those, those issues. And I guess the, the, there were a few key findings from that paper. One is that while many people are concerned that areas with poor rights recognition and not clear land tenure, those kinds of people would be excluded from forest carbon projects, we actually found that project proponents were really prioritizing clarifying land tenure and land rights in the areas where they were planning their interventions and linking that to environmental compliance. Incentives like helping producers do more sustainable agriculture, helping implement agroforestry systems, all kinds of different incentives that help small producers have a reason to actually reduce some of their deforestation and forest degradation. So they're a key target group for, for the intervention strategies by the government of Acre here in the state to reduce deforestation. <laughs> the proponents of RED initiatives are partnering, when, when they're NGO proponents, they're actually really partnering with government agencies in Brazil who actually have the mandate to make a lot of change on the ground, policy change. And, and that's a really important finding because you need civil society and government cooperation to make a lot of these things happen. And, and Brazil, the Brazil situation holds a lot of promise that these early red initiatives show just that, these very serious and successful partnerships between government and, and NGOs um, to get these things off the ground.